What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Judy Rose, and I'm back with another freaking video. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is a story time, my very first story time, and it will be about me when I found out that I was adopted. Before we get into the video, let's go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell button and also share this video. Share, 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 share. The more y'all share, the more y'all watch, the more y'all view, the more content y'all get. Um, it will be a part two to this video from the time that I met my biological family. Um, but let's get this video to 100, 100 views. I'm going to say 100 views because I think it's worth it. I don't even have 100 subscribers. But if I can get 100 subscribers and get 100 views, then I'll be bomb. Um, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so when I was 11 years old, um, I remember kind of looking at myself in the mirror one day and wondering, you know, why do I look different from everybody, you know? I always wondered that. I was always bigger, like, I mean, like Heavy said, I always had bigger breasts. I always had, um, I was always brighter. I always had different type texture hair. My color of my skin was way lighter than my biological families. And um, I just was always wondering, like I was very curious about where I came from, you know? I remember went to my brother's house, him and his girlfriend, they had watched me while my mom went to go play bingo. She loved bingo, y'all. So I was mostly all the time with them or if I wasn't with them, I was at home. Um, anyway, so my brother took me with him and uh, his girlfriend at the time. She was like, hey, do you want to go to the grocery store with me? I was like, sure, you know, why not? Cool, let's go. So we leave. No, we drop my mom off. I remember us dropping my mom at, at Bingo, using her car. We go to the grocery store. Then after the grocery store, we went home. So when we got to her house, before we got to her house, after we left the grocery store, I asked her. I was like, hey, um, I have a question. She was like, what's up? I said, well, I didn't tell her. I didn't tell her I had a question. I told her I, I had I was thinking about some things, and I wanted to talk to her about it. And she was like, okay, what's up? I told her, you know, how I felt. I told her I felt like I was adopted because I looked different from I looked different from everybody else. She was like, well, do you believe that? And I was like, um, I don't know. I just want to know, and I need I want to know the answers. I want to know where I came from. And she was just like, well, I don't know, you know. At the time, she knew, but she didn't want to tell me because, you know, that was in her place. And I understand that I respect her for that. And even to this day, I love her dearly for that. Um, so, we get to her, her house, well, her and my brother's house. And she tells my brother, you know, Nisha asked me something. If y'all didn't know, go look at my, um, get to know me tag and you'll know my first name. But anyways, she was like, Nisha asked me something. He said, okay, what's up? She came and she was like, you need to tell your brother what you asked me. And so, I was like, at first I was nervous. I have no idea why I was nervous, but I was very nervous. Anyway, so she was like, you need to just go ahead and ask your brother what you asked me. And I was like, all right, cool. So I asked my brother, I was like, hey, um, I want to, I asked her if I was adopted. Not really knowing the answer that he gave me was actually the answer I was looking for, but in a different term. It was kind of hard for me to understand. I'm going to say that. He gave me the answer without actually telling me the actual answer. He was like, if you are, are you going to still love us the same? And I was like, yeah. Like, y'all, my, you're my brother. I love you. I'm always going to love you, you know? And so he was like, okay. And that's all he said. Never bring it up. I don't even think he told my mom. But I think what he, I know, he didn't tell my mom at that time. But I do remember him and my mom getting into it because she wouldn't tell me. Um... Okay, so let's fast forward from uh, the years of 11 to about 14, 15. I'm going to say 15. Uh, my mom just always wondered, you know, just uh, I think I am. I don't really know. Whatever. It is what it is. So that's just what happened. So 14, 15, when I turned 15, it was around Mother's Day. Um, I was 15 years old. My cousin, me and my little cousin got into it. I remember him saying, that's why you're adopted. And I was like, I'm not adopted. We were in a, we went out to eat after church. We all went to church for Mother's Day. After church, we went out to eat. The whole family, grandma, uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters, everybody, moms, aunts, 
all of us, we all together out to eat. And uh, I remember him saying, that's why you're adopted. We and him, I don't know why we were fighting. I have no no idea why. I don't even know if he even remembers what was going on. But I remember all of it because they call me an elephant because I have a good memory. So, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to let, let y'all know that. Well, anyway, so um, I remember him saying, that's why you're adopted. I remember storming out the restaurant crying i probably embarrassed my whole family but i didn't care if i embarrassed them because they embarrassed me at the time and i didn't care you know i was a kid i was well i wasn't a kid i was a teenager and i just you know had a lot of depression issues and it was kind of hard you know hearing from somebody younger than you telling you that you're adopted now um i was stormed out the restroom i mean the, the restaurant crying and my uncle he seen me, he was like, come here, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I'm crying hysterically. <laughs> you know, my face ugly, tears coming down my face, no face red, nose red, just, you know, just not looking like my happy self. And so he asked me what was wrong, and I told him, you know, that his son told me that I was adopted. And he was like, no, that's not true, that's not true. So I guess after he told my grandma, my grandma made my mother tell me the same day. Like, um... But let me tell you, let me get to that part. So after we all ate, whatever, it was time for everybody to go home. Well, my mom dropped me off at home and then took my brother and my brother's girlfriend to their home. And I guess stopped at my grandma's house. I don't really know, but it took her a long time to get home. And when she came home, she was like, um, what did you ask your uncle? I'm not going to say his name, but she was like, what did you ask your uncle? And I was like, I asked him if I was adopted. And she was like, why didn't you come to tell me or ask me? And I, I had been already asking my mom, but she would, like, kind of blow me off. She wouldn't really say yes or no. She was just, like, looking at me like I was weird or whatever, and she wouldn't say much. So I'm just like, I'm crying, and she was telling me, you know, you're adopted, and your mom didn't want you. She starts telling me all these crazy lies and stuff, and I'm just like, okay. So because she's my mom, I'm believing these lies. Like, I'm really believing them, you know? And I'm just like, okay, you know, well, she told me something about my mom was dead or something. I, I don't really remember the whole thing, but, yeah, she told me that. Uh, she was like, she died when I was a baby. I'm the youngest of nine, which that part was true. I am the youngest of nine. And um, it was like, I don't know, like, I just remember being very emotional about it. Um, I'm not crying now because it's actually, um, what do you call it? Something I overcame. I overcame this depression about this one situation because it's happened so it, it happened for many years and I needed closure and I finally got the closure that I needed from it you know later on in life which will be part two of this video like I told you guys earlier well anyway so she's telling me you know um you're not adopted this and that no she was like you're adopted and um she's telling me you're adopted and I adopted you when you were a baby and your mom left you and this and that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just telling me that my mom left me and she couldn't take care of me. I'm like, okay, you know. So I was just like, okay. And she was like, do you want to see your adoption papers? And I was like, no, I'm, I pass. And um, so she was like, okay. So after that, I just kind of cried and it hurt. Like it hurt for a long time. To know that I was adopted, I kind of was lied to. But she was also like, when she told me, she was like, I was going to tell you before you were 18. I was going to tell you so that um, you'll know, you know, before you were 18. But I didn't know that if you were ready or not. I didn't know if you could handle it. Your grandmother told me to um, tell you because you needed to know. And I'm just like, okay, you know, I appreciate that. So I appreciated it and I took it and I ran with it, you know, and I'm understanding, you know, what was going on with that. And, you know, I just kind of was like, okay, well, once I found out, you know, I felt a little bit better because I heard it from my mother and I kept hearing it from everybody else. But it was like a depressed thing. It was like, well, why is she not telling me if I am and y'all telling me I am? Like, I wasn't, it was like, I didn't understand it. Well, she finally told me and... When she told me, I was actually pretty happy that she told me. I, I cried. I cried for, I think, a month and a half. But I got over it a little bit quicker than I thought. <laughs> but um, that was part one to this story. If you guys want to see part two, try to get this uh, 
video to 100 likes and i'll tell y'all guys part two on how i met my my biological mother not my adopted mother my biological mother if you guys can please like subscribe and comment on this video let me know what else you guys want to see what else you guys want to see from me then we can get into it you know what i'm saying and um if you want to know anything or if we have any questions just dm me and i'm out Oh